a lot of Funko mystery boxes but I kind of have a good excuse for this okay so Ryan is right next to me so if I have any information kind of mixed up he'll probably correct me so these were released by the company called Chrono Toys and I think it was their first time visiting um, attending San Diego Comic Con and they have this thing called Chrono Box and they even had their like only Chrome box but after um, San Diego Comic Con they released a box called High Roller Box which contains mostly of the San Diego Comic Con exclusives and then some of the Funko um, exclusive ones. Oh my gosh, Ryan is over here. He's like looking around. He's just looking around and he's super distracting. Sorry. <laughs> What are you doing? I thought I saw salt on the floor. Salt? Yeah. It was not salt. <laughs> what was it? I don't know. <laughs> Any poo. Um, so I have two boxes. They did limit two per customer. So we actually purchased one during their first release. And then we purchased the second one during their second release. So hopefully I got some really good things. Ryan also got two boxes which he already unboxed. And did you do a separate video on it? Okay, so he already unboxed and he has it on his, on his channel so I'll link the video in the description box below if you guys want to go check out which ones he got. But from San Diego Comic Con, I'm really hoping that I got Metallic Wisp because that was one pop that Ryan and I stayed up really really late trying to get it but we ended up not getting it because their website was just crashing and it was just not working. It would be really nice to also get um, Pain and Panic which was the Funko Shop exclusive because I was able to get it, but Ryan didn't get it. It would also be pretty cool to get, what's the other one? Caveman? Is that what it's called? Captain Caveman. Captain, Captain Caveman, which one was Walgreens exclusive. I passed on it at the first time, but after I saw Ryan's pop, I was like, oh, it actually looks really cute. So I'm actually just cutting the tape off on both of them so that I can, I can open them easily. So let's see. Here goes our first box. So let's see which one's inside. You guys going to see it before I do? What's in there? <gasps> Is it anything good? Oh! Oh my gosh, I got Moaning Myrtle! Okay, you know what? I'm totally okay with this. I have a friend who wanted Moaning Myrtle. She's also a big Harry Potter fan. If you're watching this video, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about you. You know who you are. But she was able to get um, nearly headless Nick San Diego exclusive one from Barnes & Noble, but she wasn't able to find Moaning Myrtle. So I'm definitely going to send this to her. This is going to be just so perfect. Do you want to take a look at her? I Even though her. you already had her, have her. Yeah, so the first one I got is Moaning Myrtle. Not, not bad at all. I'm actually really happy with it. Okay, here goes the second one. Which one is in here? I can't see. Oh man, I'm a little bummed. Oh why? Who is that? It's Dead Yamcha. Who's that? From Dragon Ball Z, it's a Hot Topic shared exclusive. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one because I actually saw this one at Hot Topic and we passed up on it. So, yeah, I mean, it does look really cool, but it's a dead character. <laughs> In it's a dead sleeping. Pose. Dead Yamcha. No, it's sleeping Yamcha. See, it says sleep Yamcha. Yeah? Yeah. Sleep Yamcha. So yeah, these two are the exclusives I got. Ryan got super excited and he was like, you know, telling me to open it, open it, open it. And then we were really hoping that I would get Metallic Wisp, but it didn't happen. But I'm still really happy that I got Moaning Myrtle. Dead Yamcha, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys! Do you want to say bye? Bye.